A social media backlash may have saved pasta's place on the menu in Quebec, but if you thought this was the last word in the province's language fight, think again. Turns out plenty of other restaurants say their menus have become targets too. Alison Northcott is on the story. It's classic British fare, fish and chips. But here in Quebec, language inspectors told the owners of this chip shop their main dish violates French language laws, which is a problem. Without being able to identify ourselves as a fish and chips restaurant, which is our specialty, that's pretty much all we serve here, um, we're unable, we'd be un unable to attract customers and or advertise what we do here. Inspectors suggested they change the name of their signature plate to, believe it or not, poisson frite et frite. I'm French Canadian, but still, uh, we usually say fish and chips. When we say uh, poisson frites, we don't uh, we don't know what we're talking about. Fish and chip is known to uh, all French Canadians. To my fellow Anglo Quebecers, I say, don't worry, your rights will be fully protected. When Parti Québécois Premier Pauline Marois was elected in the fall, she tried to reassure Anglophones, but at the same time promised to make the French language law stronger. Some say those applying the law are going too far. It's really terrible that, you know, sm local small businesses that account for a very large industry in Montreal get attacked for seemingly no reason. The language office told this British pub it's under investigation too, but didn't say why. Like we have our menu and yes, some words are in English. We don't, oftentimes it's because there, is, there isn't an equivalent word in French. Other restaurants have been caught off guard after learning about their violations, like this Italian restaurant cited for using the word pasta rather than the French pot. Pasta? Are you kidding me? It's like, come on. Here, the owner was reportedly ordered to cover the hold and redial buttons on the restaurant's telephone because those words are not French. The agency in charge of enforcing the language law wouldn't comment on these particular incidents, but in a statement earlier this week, it acknowledged some of its inspectors may have been overzealous. Wendy? Thanks so much, Alison. Alison Northcott.